Welcome back. On this tutorial, we will start working with local repositories. Let's start working with Git locally on your computer. First, let's make some folder. Make dir demo. Let's go to this folder. Nothing. In this folder, we want to make Git database to let Git begin analyzing this folder for any changes. How do we make a Git database? Simple command Git init. And in some versions, you can get this warning. What does it mean and how to get rid of it once and forever? Using master as a name for your initial branch. What is initial branch? Initial branch is basically your golden copy of your code. So by default, a git naming it master. But in recent days, it's commonly chosen instead of master, use main. Not trunk and not development. People using main. So in order to get rid of this warning forever, we just need to execute this command. You see, I think you did something similar we executed previously. git config dash dash global and just another parameter and the name of the default branch for our golden copy. So let's do it. I will just put it here. Let's name it main. Oops, sorry. Main. And it's done. You see, this is a git database, basically created uh, git created folder dot git. But let's remove it. Let's remove it. Okay, all clean. Let's see the configuration we just added. Git config dash L. You see, we just added init branch name. It will be main. That's all. Just, that's all. Let's execute git init again to create our database. First, we're in the empty folder. Git init. Initialize the empty git repository in your folder dot git. Let's see. Yeah, you see it's created folder dot git with some files inside. Doesn't matter. But if you want to see what is it, it's just a bunch of the files and directories here. You don't need to know about it just for good. So if you have this folder, this means this is a git repository and it's database where the git tracking all the changes. So we created git database. Let's execute first command, which you will use, by the way, this command you will use for like millions of times called git status to see the status, the current status, what's happening right now. And this is the status. We on the branch main, basically our gold. There's no any commits yet and nothing to commit, like no, nothing. And here's a hint what you need to do next. Create, copy files and add the, uh, and use git add to track. Okay, let's create some files. So let's start adding uh, files into our, in, into our repository. Echo source file one, let's say, yeah. And let's call it file one.txt. Uh, you know, let's create another file to basically we create two files. Here we go. I created just two files. You see them here. Let's execute git status. Git status. Okay, now we're still on the branch main. We're in golden. We will work on the golden branch. Uh, on this specific tutorial. There's no any commits yet. Commits is basically our versions which we saved in our database. And there's some untracked files which is not exist in database, but there are some new files which you get you never seen before. All right. And it's showing you use command git add to start tracking. Let's do that. Git add. You can add specific file, for example, one.txt, or git add and just dot current folder. It will add everything. Everything. Git status. Let's check now status. Okay, we're on branch main. No commits yet. Change to be committed. Changes which will be included in the version if we will make the commit. It's two new files with all the content inside this file. So let's make the fir our first commit. Git commit minus m to put the message. Or oh, you always need to put the message. Because of my first commit, I will write initial commit. Commit basically it's version of in, the, in our database. Done. Git status. What's happening right now? On the branch main, nothing to commit. Working tree clean. All good. So basically, this files is in our database right now. If I'm going to change something and I'm going to change something, let me update file number one, add a new line in this file. I don't, I don't care. Okay. And, and I will execute right now with git status. Git will detect there's a changes in the file one number one. You see, file number one modified. There are some, some, some changes detected. If I will create an additional file, echo, let's create file number three. 
right now we have three files but this file is not yet tracked these two tracked and this one updated load get status it will detect all the changes from the previous version which is committed so we see that this file from previous commit was modified and there is a new file so what we can do we can add two files or just one but let's add you know one by one uh, so i will add file number three into my uh, future commit git status let's see what is happening right now okay it's a changes to be committed is this and this one's still uh, modified but it's not uh, changes not uh, not to be committed so let's edit uh, as well because we want in next version which i will create basically in one commit i want two changes the new file and the updated this file okay so let's add a file one by the way i can just add uh, again and it will add everything so, so this status showing which changes will be committed if I will execute git commit. And let's do it. git commit minus m added uh, file 3 and updated. Usually you write, you know, what you did really, what this, what these changes included. Added file 3 and updated file 2 or file 1, yeah. All right, done. Git status. Cool, all good, all good. If I will delete right now, just so okay, I'm just start continue working, you know, I decide file number three, read it, we don't need it, just the unnecessary file. And I want to, uh, you know, update file number one. And I want to uh, change this line, you know, fix it. You see, it's in this file. Like this, add more lines. Another, basically, updating my code another flying <laughs> anyway saved git status so i did some changes and it's detecting all the changes so what I, what did it detect it detected this file is deleted it's not exist anymore but it, it was on previous version this while modified from the previous version so next thing i need to do is just let's add these files into the database let's create an additional version newest version add everything git status and git commit for example, fix it some bug. Yeah. In all these changes, I fix it some bug. Git status. All working clear. So this is a basic workflow using git commands. First, you creating database, git init. You doing your changes, you working on your code. You execute git add, git commit. You doing changes, git add, git commit. You doing your changes, git add, git commit. This is always and git status. You always I always execute git status just to just to see what's happening, where are you right now, on which state of the you know commit uh, add what what you need to do right now. So what git is detected, always execute git status. So some some refreshment what we did. Version one like initial version are of our files. We have files a basically three files, but here they're calling a b c. Next, we updated file A and file C. So you see it's created file A and C, like new files, and B is still the same. And the version 2 include all this stuff. Next, we updated file uh, C and created the version, basically committed. Next, we updated file B and created the version, basically committed everything. And next, we updated file uh, C and created the version. Basically, all the changes, just all the commits creating version, 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 version. Let's go through some steps we just did in our terminal. So we created file, new file. This file, the status of these files for the git is untracked. You remember, untracked uh, files. Next, when we add this file, so we move this file to the staged uh, area of the git. So first area, basically, it's untracked files. Next, it's staged. Staged to, to where? Staged to commit to the to new version. And when we then we commit all these changes and basically we create a copy on our local repository and local a uh, database and there's also another step uh, which we didn't learn yet but we will learn it in the future lessons the command is git push so basically we're taking all this local repository and pushing it to the remote repository so we're creating copy and remote repository we didn't learn remote repository yet it will be in the next lecture, don't worry, we will use GitHub for this, it will explain you very well, we will use git push commands, don't worry. So this is some recap, what we did just in this tutorial. And here is some command which we used, git init, git add dot, basically on this folder everything, git status, git commit, minus m and your message.
Git init, by the way, you need to execute it only once. Yeah, just to create this database initially, that's all. All right, so uh, I hope it was uh, interesting. We'll see you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.